Oh no, my laptop's decided it's going to do its own thing now. Hello, everybody. I'm Michaela Wagner and today I will be doing a Sarah J Mass tag. This originated from a post on Tumblr. It's originally designed to have people put like character names in your ask box on Tumblr and then from there you answer the corresponding question. I'm just gonna go through the list and answer them because that's how we we go and do this. Okay, so question numero uno, almost said numero uno, is Selena Saar Dolphin. If you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? I would buy my mother a nice place to live and a Range Rover and another dog. Can you not eat my bra? My dog likes to eat my bras. Ugh, pet life, am I right? Question number two is Aileen, wow, they put her whole name in there. Aileen Ashriver Galathinius. Favorite quote from the books or just in general? I'm gonna go from Sarah's book. My favorite quote is from A Court of Mist and Fury and it's to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. Reese said that and it was so beautiful and it is on my phone case. Mia, get out of there. Thank you. Feyre, how creative are you? Well, I'm doing a film and TV production course and I want to be a director slash editor slash actress. So I'd, I'd say I'm pretty creative. I, like I would love to get into cinematography as well, but it's, I'm scared to touch cameras and there's like this whole like mathematical science-y sort of side to it with lights and stuff that like freaks me out. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I basically forget like all the ISO and gain sort of settings that you need and that's it's a lot It's a lot of numbers. I'll just stick to being like I would like a light here Pale Westfall. What is your favorite dish? Um, just now what came to mind was tiramisu. So we're gonna go with that. Doran Havilliard. My prince. My sweet sweet prince. Are you a black sheep in your family? Uh, I don't think so Nehemia your favorite Taylor Swift song? Fuck. My most played Taylor Swift song is Treacherous, but actually, like, I mean, if we go like a cumulative amount of listens across all computers that I've had, it might be safe and sound. But you know, on this computer, top listen is Treacherous, um, but also like this love. It's such a beautiful song and I love it so much and maybe that's number one but also maybe it's if this was a movie also maybe delicate there's a lot of options Tamlin are you athletic <laughs> no recent <laughs> So I send my kisses to the stars for him. Are you a morning or a night person? Definitely a night person. Although like I don't mind getting up in the early hours to like watch nature doing its thing as long as I can go back to bed. Manana Blackbeat, my girl. Favorite Halsey song? Ooh, it's definitely gasoline. It's the one I always go back to. Abraxas, my precious baby child. If you could adopt all the pets you wanted, what would they be and what would you name them? Okay, so like a miniature dash hound called Audrey. A black, like fluffy dog. I don't know what kind of dog, but black and cute and we'll call her Beatrix Potter. B for short, or Miss Potter for short, and a goat called Gloria. Maybe a turtle. I don't know what we would call the turtle. Hypothetically, all of these animals are girls. Lucian, favorite Fallout Boy song? Sugar, we're going down, I think. Specifically, that time Taylor Swift covered it on the Speak Now World Tour. But you know, like Dance Dance is also a favorite of mine. And also like just all of Save Rock and Roll and American Beauty, American Psycho, American Psycho, American Beauty, except for the title track. I hate that song. Sam Cortland. I don't remember this. Oh, Sam. Whoops, ass ass blade. Are you single, taken or aromantic? I am single as fuck and you know, 24 years into being single, it's getting a bit tired. So, like, cute boys out there, hit me up. Dorian, 
I'm, I'm waiting. Amarantha. Three laws you'd make if you ran your country. So I guess that means laws that don't exist. And since same-sex marriage is passed, what's next? Yeah, just like equal pay would be fucking fantastic. Um, like, and a more severe penalty for domestic violence? Let's go with a fun law. One free gourmet donut a week for everyone. Gluten-free options, because that's important. King of Adalin. Adalin? I don't know how to say this. How often do you send an ons? Sometimes I send funny ones to my friends and they usually know who it's from so it's not overly anonymous but that's all I do. I'm a pretty open person. I don't like hiding things because it makes me feel icky and I would never send hate to anyone. I would just if, if I was going to say something mean to someone, it would be justified because they're being a dick and I wouldn't be hiding because I want them to know what they've done is actually wrong because I wouldn't be saying it if there wasn't a good reason for it so there's no reason to hide. <laughs> Big explanation there. Maeve, if you were Faye, what would your animal form be? According to Pottermore, my Patronus is a blackbird and I actually think that would be like a great animal to actually be because you know it's like swift and, and cute and you can fly. Alice, how stressed out are you right now? Very. I have like deadlines with school and I'm trying to get this documentary sorted and it's all happening very fast. Caltaine Rompierre. Wow, what a character development we had there. Maybe not development, but journey. No ask, just know that you're beautiful and I'm happy that you exist and please don't ever think otherwise. Aww. Fairy.tumblr.com. I love you. I like it when people say nice things to other people, even if they think that I'm gonna see ya. <laughs> Duke Parrington. What role do you play in group projects? I'm pretty flexible, but it usually ends up being some kind of like leading thing because I just want to make sure we all get our shit together. Arabin Hamill. If you could kill one person, who would it be? Mm, mm, mm. Like, honestly, it would be Mike Pence because if Trump gets thrown out of presidency, then we have to deal with Mike Pence and he honestly scares the living daylights out of me. I do not want him in charge. It's not even my country, but I just know if he were in charge, things would not go well for the entire world. Nesta, zodiac sign, Maya Briggs, Hogwarts house and age. My zodiac sign is a Virgo, but I'm also a Capricorn moon with an Aquarius rising. I could tell you a lot of my chart, but just know that it, like basically a lot of it says that I'm a very nurturing person. My Maya Briggs personality type is INFP. So I'm Luna Lovegood. My Hogwarts house is Slytherin. So I'm not Luna Lovegood. I am 24 years old and I will be 25 in August. So cheers not being in my early 20s anymore. <laughs> Elaine. Top three appearing colours in your wardrobe. Well, definitely blue. Not because I love blue, but just because a lot of clothes come in blue. I actually think there's quite a bit of like red and orange. I wish there was more purple. It's ma mainly blue, red, and white, I think. Adian Ash River. What a cutie. On a scale of 1 to Adian, how awesome do you think my blog is? Well, you gave me a compliment, so I'm gonna give you Adian. Ash River because I like being validated by other people. <laughs> and that is all. I will talk to you guys next time. If you want to stick around for more fun content, you can click the subscribe button. Look at what I have. It's so shiny. That's my name. Ah! Bye. Ow, ow, ow. I nailed on my hair. <laughs>